Hey now, <laughs> deep freezer thoughts, not in the freezer. Um, I'm out bike riding. Silver Comet Trail. I was kind of pissed off yesterday, but today I'm in a better space. Trying to be, you know, the devil know he's a liar. He know he can get the shit popping off before you even get out the bed. And um, that's his little job, let him have it. But um, <clears throat> someone posted on my page, Choky, been <laughs> locked up or something, whatever, but he's a married man now, which is good, congratulations. But he did make a um, comment, Cheeky Ben Hook, that's his name. <laughs> Oh, don't be mad at me either. But um, he said, we should stop spending for about two weeks. Or we should stop spending. And I think that is the way to do it. The only way to get a change is to hit the change. Hit that pocket. Check for the check. And that's what we need to do. I like that. We can't go to jail for not spending our money. We can't get killed for not spending our money. But we can send a strong message. And I like that. Send that message that uh, that hit the pocket. Because you see how the COVID-19 fucked them up? Fucked us all up. Hell. And this should be fucking us up too. Somebody also posted, not on my page, but that the whole incident is a false flag. And it almost did make sense to me on the back of the police car it says on the tag it read police okay what police department has police on the back of the tag instead of a police number or a um tag number but i ain't gonna go down that road either that's something for me to think about next week Check on your conspiracy theories, friends, because we going crazy out here. We see everything and we don't trust shit, you know? Because like I said, this is a good scheme, a serious plan that may be working, you know? Because for a long time, they was killing us and we didn't do shit. I mean, we did stuff. We did our little protesting or whatever for a day, a week, probably two weeks max. And uh, on to the next event. Cause that's what we working off of events we living from event to event kobe kobe bryant there COVID 19 happened after that even before kobe hell i can't remember because what was it i don't know but it was a lot of it's just an event after event and so this is an event i'm tired of shit. um i have to stop wait stop stop okay so they're probably about to get the reaction that they want, which is for us to act the ass, do what we do, do what's happening. You know, the protesting in the street, the, um, damn, I see the police station on fire now. So, um, we doing a lot, but I just want to say, I think to hit the dollar, to hit, the, <laughs> to hit the dollar, the dollar don't need him, the dollar fine. But we got to hit the pockets of the people that's pulling the chain, pulling the strings. So my thought today is let's see if we can um, stop spending. Put our money where their mouth is. Make them eat that shit. They're going to have to eat all their product, all they stock. We got to stop. Stop fucking spending with they ass. They tried to turn us against the Chinese through this COVID-19 and you know, the Asian the the Asian group, you know, I can't say Chinese um Vietnamese, all of them, they, they had to suffer through that, through this and I slick felt sorry for <laughs> I live in Atlanta so everybody know that the Chinese restaurant on Cascade, Rap David Abernathy China cafeteria across from Kroger, across from Popeyes, across from Checkers. 
the whole time they were closed. And when I looked over there, I saw hurt. You know, I was hurt. And these are people that have been in the community since they got here. And that Chinese restaurant <clears throat> has been feeding our children, our ass, for the longest. They fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can't get mad because they know how to handle their motherfucking business. We can't be mad because they know how to. Damn, that sky look good up there. I love it, y'all. But we can't be mad because they keeping their dollars where they mouth feel with their family, with their friends. They keeping it in their circle. We can't be mad at that. But what I'm mad at is how we stop shopping with them. How we stop fucking with them. Ain't nothing wrong with fucking with them. My thing is, we all are here. The dollar can be spent black, white, Chinese, Latino, all the races. Spend the dollar. So, I don't... Yeah, we gonna hit their ass, and I hope that is the plan for us to not spend. But it hurt me to see that this Chinese restaurant had been open for years. Yeah, we done probably got them plenty of houses and cars, but they fed us. They were there. They kept their prices cheap. It don't matter. They were there. I don't want to go into details with that. Oh, Lord help me. But they were there. They they fed our children. All we might have had was a few dollars. And their food was, the amount was just all we needed. It was $5. Got us rice and some wings that could have fed sometimes five kids you know i don't have no kids so i don't know the ratio of that might be kind of off probably three kids but it was enough so we turned our backs on some people that were there you know indirectly I'm not gonna say they were there directly that they just were fucking with us on purpose they were for the dollar but i just saw hurt in the business and they weren't the only one only business so the business is where the business says the businesses i can't think because i'm fucking about to pass out but anyway <laughs> the businesses did hurt a lot of the korean japanese vietnamese restaurants oh and even the nail shops bitches i know y'all ain't gonna try to turn y'all back on kim no y'all ain't gonna turn your back on kim kim been hooking our nails up forever I mean, I know it's a nail shop over there off of Cleveland Avenue, Metropolitan, sitting in the Kroger Plaza. They've been there over 30 years since nails started. Since the motherfucking airbrush. And we were fucking with them. So, in that little three-month time, the little one-month, two-month, three-month time that we closed down the state, the United States, Georgia, whatever, it hurt them. It hurt me. But what I can say, COVID-19 was a blessing to me. Uh, was a blessing. I'm gonna talk about that when I do this other mile. We gotta stop spending, hurt them in the pocket, and do the damn thing. Oh shit, I, I ain't did no hands in a long time, y'all. So let me see, I got it a little bit, but if I follow this fucking camera, I dare y'all to laugh. Sexy tomboy. Signing off. <laughs>